If you've ever wondered which Jira issue to use for planning your vacation or logging time for a sick day, internal issues are the answer. So what are internal issues? These are Jira issues that you create yourself to cover events like vacations, sick days, travel time, training or onboarding, or even your company picnic. One thing that they do not cover is public holidays, which you can set up with the holiday scheme. And that's covered in another video. So where are internal issues used in Tempo? They're actually used in all of our Tempo apps, Timesheets, Planner, and Cost Tracker. In Tempo Timesheets, you can log time to these non-project events. And it's easy to find them on the Internal tab in the Issues side panel or in the Log Time form. You can also run reports on the internal project to see the number of hours spent on internal issues, such as to find out how many sick days have been taken for the month. In Tempo Planner, you can plan your vacations and personal time off. And as in Timesheets, you can easily find internal issues in the Issues side panel and in the Plan Time form. And having time off planned out helps managers plan ahead for projects because they can see their team's capacity for work. In Cost Tracker, when you're tracking revenue, issues that are identified in Tempo as internal issues are not considered as billable, so they're not part of the revenue calculations. So now that you know what internal issues are and why you need them in your life, I'll walk you through how to create and configure them, as I have done for my company called Lunar Industries. First thing I do is actually create a separate JIRA permission scheme for internal issues. And here's one that I already made called Internal Time Scheme. It makes it easier to manage permissions for only the internal issues if the scheme is separate from, say, the default permission scheme that the typical JIRA projects use. And now I can give permissions to the correct people. As usual, all Tempo users have the typical Browse Projects permission. And down here in the Time Tracking permissions, they can delete and edit their own work logs as well as work on issues, which lets them log their time to the internal issues. But the reason for a separate permission scheme is because internal issues often deal with personal data, like sick days or special leaves from work, so privacy is an issue. Here at Lunar Industries, only our human resource and a few other managers who are in this JIRA group have permissions to log work for others and view all work logs. With the permission scheme set up, I can create a JIRA project for these issues. And I called my project Lunar Internal Issues with the key INT. Now the fun part of creating issues for this project. I've already created most of the issues such as Lunar Travel Time and Gravity Recalibration, among others. You should think about all the issues you need right from the start, but you can add more later as you need. And I had forgotten to add our new favorite company event called Green Cheese Appreciation Day. And I'll give it the internal label. Internal issues have no original or remaining estimate information or a due date. And there's no assignee. So I'll just create that. And it appears in my project here. Now I've got all my issues created, so I open up Tempo and go to Settings here to configure the internal issues. And this tells Tempo which issues should be treated as internal ones. And by the way, I need to have Tempo Administrator permissions to configure these issues. You can see that I've already added most of the issues here, but I need to add the one that I just created for Green Cheese Appreciation Day. So I'll click Add, and I'm done. Now the Tempo apps know which the internal issues are, so they'll automatically show up on the Internal tab in the Issue side panel and the Log and Plan Time forms. The last step for internal issues is about using accounts. It's optional, but is generally good practice if you're working with billable and non-billable hours. In Timesheets, time logged to internal issues may be included in the billable hours. But it's typical that these issues are not billable, such as vacation or sick time. So what I'll do here for Lunar Industries is to create a non-billable account for the internal issues. I click Create Account up here, 
and give the new account an original name like internal issues. And edit the key. I'll make myself the lead and select the category called Company Internal Issues. And this is a category that I had created earlier and it has the category type of internal, which means that it's non-billable. I'll select Lunar Industries as the customer since the account is only for us. And Beverly works in HR, so I'll add her as the contact. And very importantly, I'll link the project Lunar Internal Issues to this account. This means that the employees here can select this account when they log time to internal issues in this project. And click Create. My new account is added to the list and the I beside it identifies it as internal, which is non-billable. Now when I run a report on my accounts, none of the hours that were logged to the internal issues in the internal issues account are included in the billable column. So my data is nice and clean. I can also easily run a report on the project to see only the internal issues, which makes things very clear where time has been spent. For example, I can see how many hours were logged this month to company meetings, or just how much time has been spent on lunar travel. With the internal issues created and configured, the workers here at Lunar Industries can easily log time or plan time to them and managers can get clean reports on that non-project and non-billable data. Thanks for watching and make sure to check out the other videos to learn even more about Tempo.